Good afternoon, everybody. You already know who this is. Happy Sunday. I know it's Super Bowl Sunday. I know a lot's going on. But you know what? I want to bring something to you from church. And that's something I want to bring you from that message. That's basically going to spawn basically this little main message for the day. But first, I just want to read you the scripture. It's, it's kind of long, but you know what? I'm going to go forth with the word. And I'm going to say what I have to say, I'm going to be done. And you're more than welcome to share. You're more than welcome to like. You're more than welcome to comment. You know. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be restarting something that I started a long time ago. But I'm going to reword it this time. It's not just spreading the gospel. Spreading the love. But this series, every Sunday, like I, like I first started, I'm going to be bringing the word back to you guys. So, since, and, and it's basically going to be called Being the 67th Book Video Series. I'm renaming it. This is now going to be called Being the 67th Book Video Series. It can it can be a sermon. It can be something that, that I read from a, a scripture that I found, or from a devotional, or something that stands out to me that I'm gonna bring every Sunday. So I'm gonna get into this one right quick. And if you wanna follow along, if you wanna follow along, if you wanna follow along with your book. With your Bible app, you can, and you know, you can read along with me. But um, but I will be coming from Matthew thirteen one through sixteen, NIV, and it reads. And then that same day, Jesus went out out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowd, crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sent it. While, while, while all the people stood on the shore, then he told them many, many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he scattered the seed, some fell in the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly, but the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and withered because they had no root. Other seeds fell in the thorn among thorns, which grew and choked the plant. Still, other seeds fell on good soil where it produced a crop a hundred. 60, 30 times what was sown. Whoever has ear, let him hear. The disciples came to him and asked, Why do you speak to the people in parables? He replied, Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom has been given to you, but not to them. Whoever has will be given more, and they will have abundance. Whoever does not have, even what, even what they have will be taken from them. This is why I speak in par. I speak in. I speak in parables. Though, though seeing they do not see, through hearing, they do not hear or understand. In them, is the prophecy. Of Isaiah, you will be be hearing ever you will be ever hearing but never understanding. You will be seeing but not perceiving. For this people, for this people's heart can become callous. They hardly ear hear with their ears, and and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they may they might see with their eyes. Hear with the ears, understand with their heart, 
in turn I would heal them. But blessed be but but blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. The message was favor ain't fair. Favor ain't fair. And I want to bring one thing that caught me. God doesn't do God doesn't act like man. We all know this. God doesn't do what man does. So he said this. He is an outside of the box God. And that that it and even if you could hold God, that is not even a box to hold him. What am I trying to say? And favor ain't fair. God can do pretty much anything he wants to in your life. Anything. It this that job you trying to get. That promotion that you that that you so need that will probably help you in in a way that that will probably put you on the map and and you get that promotion so the world won't understand. They can see it. They may they might hear it, but they'll look at wait a minute. This man or this woman just started working here. And yet he was promoted. Favor ain't fair. It's not. God does not hold. God does not. In the beginning I said God is not like man. And he's not. That's why favor ain't fair you know if you are of the world you may see you may hear but if you don't have the understanding that God can do whatever he wants to do in somebody's life then you're never going to understand it because you can you can you can you can say like oh that's luck or uh, oh well I got better experience or I have a better education or I have so many accolades that you may think oh this may get me this job but little do you know that God has a plan for everybody's life. Matter of fact, let me go. Let me go back. Let me go back in. Cause you know what, y'all know. There's a, Cause everybody knows there's a certain scripture in that Bible, in 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 our Word, that says. And I'm about to pull it out. It comes from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to get to give you a hope and a future.
So I know the plan. The reason why you got it, because set forth in motion. God already had a plan for your life. He knows what he's going to do in your life. But yet, people try to put God in a box. You can't put God in the box. Because God does, what, does, does so many things unconventionally that unless you start to see that that this is being done by someone that does not care because he's gonna bless whoever he wants to bless regardless of their status in the workplace or anywhere else might need to get that new house new car get them there's no restriction on on what God can do when God can do it and who he wants to do it to Favor would never be said. What do you think grace is? Grace is unmerited favor. Y'all know what grace is. Grace is basically saying we shouldn't be getting these things, but we getting them all because of who God is. And just to add on a little, just add on, add on. Mercy is stuff that we should be getting, but we don't get I mean I know it's not in this message but grace and mercy goes hand in hand but favor God's favor on your life the reason why you are probably receiving so many things is because God wants you to have something God wants you to have all he wants to give you and when he does it because when you do what you're supposed to do when you pray when you read your bible and you just and you're literally living out the life of a christian the life that god called you to have the life that you gave back to him and he expects you to live for him. God will work in your life because you believe in him. You trust in him. You have an intimate relationship with him. And in return, he's going to do something so miraculous that people just don't see. And they don't see it coming. Because you think, oh, well, he done been here for about a good two, three months. He ain't going to get it. But watch how God works. That's why I said that was that statement. He is an outside of the box God. You can't hold God. You can't build a box big enough to hold him. Because God's going to burst out of the box. And 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 he going to literally do some miraculous things and some things that 
Like people are like, wow, God, this shit, how this happened? Only but God. So, if you start to see things working out in your life, you start to see things you shouldn't, you shouldn't that 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 you shouldn't be getting. That's because you got God God's favor is on your life. Favor ain't fair. And it's go and it ain't gonna be fair because God has a plan for your life. And he's gonna execute every bit, every detail of your life. So that when you get what you get, you'll be praising God, thanking him, thanking him. For doing what he did. But 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 you keep but you know what? And when you get it, like I said, just thank him. Because only God can do what man cannot do. Cause just think look at man. Look at man for a second and I'm I'm gonna close out. Look at man. Let's take the work situation again. You got people that's, that's got the experience. But here's you. Now. Statistics would show like, oh, you got a slim to none chance of getting that, of getting that promotion. Slim to none. But God's been working in your favor. What's. You are the head, not the tail. You are above, not beneath. In some way, the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. You and you. Just think about that. You serve a God that's out of the, outside the box. Serve a God that can change up the whole situation now. When he wants to. And because he can't. God doesn't have rules. There is no rule on what God can and cannot do. There are no rules. None. That's why favor ain't fair. Because there is no rules. You cannot hold God to a rule. You cannot hold God to sin. You cannot hold God to anything. Because he's God. God can do whatever he wants to do. When, how he wants to do it. And, and do it because he can. I'm stopping. Right now. I'm stopping. Because you know what? I will go back and forth. Same thing I'm saying. Favor just ain't fair because God does it because he wants to do it. I'm ending it right here. Case in point, the la the first thing I said will be the last thing I say. He is an outside of the box God. And that ain't a big enough box to hold him. Favor ain't fair. Read Matthew 13, 1 through 16. This has been my my second restart. Being the book, being the sixty seven book video series. Share it, like it, comment it. Just A lot, just, just, do, just let God work. Share it to somebody, cause somebody needs it. Being the light, being the sixty-seven book, somebody needs this. 
And maybe this causes them to turn their life over to God. Because they heard about what God can do. Don't deny anyone that chance. Being a success book. Favor.